Okay. We have a few minutes before six o'clock. I like to get on here and just chill out with you guys and get comfortable in my hammock and give you guys a chance to get on here. So money is such a huge topic. And I have to say that pretty much everything that you probably think about money <laughs> is wrong. Um, because you think, and I can say this from experience, from my own experience, that money is this thing that is just hard to get or hard to keep. And you think that you have to do certain things to get money. But really, money is just a byproduct of your mindset, of your beliefs. So, if you want to change how much money you have in your life, you change your mindset. Just like with relationships, with health. So, I wonder who's going to be on here tonight. Let me, I, all my computers are like, my la oh wait, I, c I can actually probably not. Wait, can I actually get to message somebody? No, <laughs> no, okay, so let's get started. <sighs> Once upon a time. <sighs> okay, everything starts with our story. Our beliefs start with our story, what happened to us, and how we interpreted that story. And for a lot of us, hey, who is, <gasps> is that Rux? So for a lot of us, we have, the, yes, awesome, hi. Um, we have these beliefs that come from our story about money. like. Um, and as you jump on, type in replay, or if you're live, I can see you're, you're there. Um, but type in what kind of beliefs do you have about money? Do you have to struggle? Hey, Kyle, do you have to struggle to get money? Do you feel like money is hard to come by? This is the great, a great one for, for you too, Kyle. Um, do you feel like um, yes. <laughs> do you feel like it, money is hard to keep? Do you feel like money takes a lot of work? And I can tell you that I actually hated money for most of my life. For most of my life. When I was a kid, I loved money. I had no idea how much I had. I could count the like bills, but I didn't know how much it out. Like I couldn't tell the difference between a five and a 10, but I would count all my bills and I would count all my coins and I knew how much I had. And my first memory was me folding my dollar bills once and then twice. Oh no, I ironed them. I ironed. I ironed all, did I iron my money? I did iron my money. I ironed my bills and then I folded them once and then twice. Who else is on here? I was raised with the belief that you need to work very hard and sacrifice a lot if you want to have money. All those beliefs are gonna keep you from having money. <laughs> also, that being an entrepreneur has no financial security. Oh my God. You have to get rid of those beliefs. Um, so you're aware of your beliefs. That is good. So I had, I loved money. I loved to count it. I loved to, like, I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was important. And my first memory was um, 
my mom, my, my money was actually disappearing. And my mom was like, hey, Elizabeth, uh, all that is according to my mom. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> um, and my money was disappearing. And my mom asked me one night, like, where, Nikki, where's your money? That's when my name is Nikki. Um, and I said, I, I think it's missing. Like some of it is missing. So I hid it here and I wrapped it up in cloth and put it under my pillow. And she was like, oh, I borrowed some money. So with that, I didn't know that my dad had left and they were in a separation and my mom was really struggling just to feed us. But with that, I ended up having this belief that if you have money, you have to lend it to those that you love, right? Uh, yes, it's great to have money to lend, but if your loved ones are stealing from you, I mean, how do you, do you want to make money? If you're just going to lose it, if you have a belief that money is hard to keep, hard to, hard to get, hard to keep, what's the point? What's the point? You just work so hard and then people steal your money, right? And you know, I know now looking back, but that was one of the seeds and my whole family was all about borrowing money and helping others, right? And everyone borrowed my money from my grandmother. Um, so it was like a big trend in the family, right? So if you have these belief that, the beliefs that money is hard to come by, that money is hard to keep, that loved ones will borrow money from you, then how big will your desire be to make money or will you just want to make enough right if these things keep uh, these beliefs keep us from being wealthy right they also rocks they also keep us from following our heart and being an entrepreneur if that's what we want right they keep us they keep us from trusting ourselves right so if you look at what has been going on with your money situation do you always maintain the same kind of debt do you always um struggle to make money all these are based on beliefs and as I say this, you can look at your beliefs and be like, yes, well, these beliefs are true because they have been true. Money has always been a struggle for me. Like you can believe that, right? And on the same token, I can tell you that if you actually start to really believe that money is easy and that clients want to work with you and that clients come and ask to work with you like all these like easy money is easy money is easy to keep um my bank account grows if you have these beliefs then they they actually come true and they come true not just because you change your beliefs, but because when you change your beliefs, you also change your actions, right? Um, it, this doesn't mean like if you believe that you're going to win the lottery, that you're going to win the lottery. It means that if you believe that money is easy to come by, you set up your business in a way that is easy for you and easy for clients to pay you, <laughs> right? So your beliefs about money need to change to be the beliefs that you actually want. And the other thing is, 
and I know these are so big like this is such a big topic and if you guys want to talk to me about getting coaching further with this stuff let me know um, but the other thing is that I used to hate money and I know you guys are like that's crazy I would never hate money but the truth of the matter is if you don't have the money that you want if you don't have the financial security that you want if you are not making the income in your business that you want to be making you probably have some kind of dislike or you probably have some kind of dislike toward money or you probably actually well this is true if you don't have money you actually don't want money there's a part of you that doesn't want money for some reason and all those reasons can be different for different people are going to be different for different people but if you don't have something whether it's soulmate or money or six-pack abs <laughs> There's a reason you don't have it and the reason is because there's a part of you that actually doesn't want it. Um, so I hated money. I, when I got married in my 20s, we made a lot of money. We were both software engineers and we made about 200 a year. So money was not an issue, but what was an issue is the more money we made, the more we grew apart so there was actually a part of me that blamed what's that noise no don't talk back to me there was actually a part of me that blamed money for us growing apart for my marriage falling apart right and you guys know the story it wasn't money's fault um, there's a lot of factors but I blamed money and I was very angry like to the point that when I went and traveled I actually decided to be homeless because I was like it wasn't just like it was partly that I thought it was gonna be fun we can talk about that later <laughs> but I Never mind. But the other part of it was, um, I actually like to struggle at the time. But the other part of it was, I wanted to say, fuck you to money. Like a big fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need money. I can do this on my own. So it was this big, um, what, protest against money and this actually hit me really recently that I not only didn't want money but that I there was a part of me that was still like fuck you to money and that I never actually healed that part of my relationship with money and so I did healing work on that which is obviously why my business is working and you guys are here and I'm talking about money. But you have to know what's happened in your past. You have to know what beliefs you have around money. You have to know how to flip the switch on, on the beliefs in about money, right? And all of these things are not easy. But what I wanna say is that money is available to you now. Hey Dave, money is available to you now. So if you do not have money, there's a, there's an, there's a reason you don't have money. There's a fixable reason and it's no, no, the, the, it's not go out and get a second job it's not work harder. It's not eat more ramen noodles. <laughs> it is not, it is not any of those things. It is 
let's look at your mindset. Let's look at your beliefs. Let's look at why you actually don't want money. And let's flip the switch on each of those things. Because once you change your mindset around money, it becomes what you want it to become. It becomes easy. It becomes fun. It becomes whatever you want it to become because everything comes from our thoughts. Great. And I said that a lot before. And the thing of it is, I didn't realize that it was a lie. Because if you can say that and money isn't coming into your bank account, then I have to wonder what part of money doesn't love you or what part of you doesn't love money. Because I love that. I love that you have that affirmation, okay? But is that really happening in your life, right? Are you seeing that, right? Or is it just around the corner? So, again, you can have these beliefs. You can have what you want. You can have the perfect business. You can have the perfect business model. But none of that is going to work if you have a block around money. And a block would be that maybe you don't want, there's a part of you, there's a part of you that doesn't want money, right? That would be a block. And we don't know these things. We don't know these things. But the other thing is you can, you can make a shit ton of money with money blocks. You can. You just got to remove the ones that are actually keeping you from making the money that you want to make. Because money is available to you now. Okay? So... You can ask your questions. We have a couple more minutes. This is a really big lesson and I know that you guys are gonna have questions and I know that if you've been struggling with money, that no one has really <laughs> done the kind of protest against money that I have, the big fuck you money. <laughs> and come back from that, right? Um, and so it's easy for me to see what what's going on for you, where you need to flip the switch, all these things. Wow. Okay. What else? What else? What other beliefs do you have about money? What is not serving you? Do you feel like there's a part of you that doesn't want money? Um, is money hard to keep for you? Lots of questions. Okay, so, okay, awesome, okay. Post your questions. Oh, I wanted to say this, whenever you watch this, Type in your questions. I will come back and I will answer all the questions. Again, this month is about getting support in any area of your life. Now, I use this for money. You can apply this to soulmate relationships. You can apply this to your six-pack abs, whatever you want. Um, but you, I'm here for you. Type in your questions whenever you want. Ooh, shit, <laughs> yep, okay, yeah, yeah, if you have that belief, you're going to, yeah, you're going to have problems getting and keeping money, so if you, so if you know that, Right, and you haven't flipped the switch on it. You haven't been able to 
let's say you have had a business for two years and you haven't been able to sign clients or you haven't been able to keep money or whatever, then something needs to change. Needing money has meant that I was being a burden to others. This old stuff from parents. How do I change the script? Okay. What can I get? Okay. One, I have to say that I can, I'm going to give you a little bit here as much as I can, but you may feel like maybe we need to go into some private coaching on this right now. I have a three session powerful manifestor sessions, sessions, right? So you get three hours, three different sessions with me for powerful manifesting. And so what I would, if you, if you still feel, if I give you the answer, I'm going to give you the answer. But if you still feel like, Hey, I want to work on my money mindset. I want the uh, powerful manifestor sessions with you. How do I get that? PM me after or PM me tomorrow. Think about it. Your intuition is going to tell you what to do. Okay. But Needing money has meant that I was being a burden to others. How do I change the script? How do I flip the, flip the switch? Okay, so what you have to do is write, so on a piece of paper, write out your belief, that shitty one right there, right? And then you have to disprove it, right? So write out 20 reasons why that is not true why it means you, yeah you can rewrite the belief to what you want it to say so needing money so okay so i would say even though i need money i have not been a burden to others or um I don't know how you would say it without using the word not. You probably don't want to use the word not. But rewrite it as many times as you need to until that is not true and it says something that supports what you want it to want what you want to believe, okay? And then write all the reasons why that is not true. I'm not a burden to others. Others now we don't want to we don't want to take money from others, of course. So we we also don't want to have beliefs that keep us in this place of needing money. Right? So maybe you went through some hard times and now you have this awareness that you want to move out of that and because you have this awareness now, you get to call in more money and be able to pay people back. I'm not really sure. <laughs> we actually need to go deeper with this. But what I want to say is just like write out that and then write 20 reasons why that's not true. Just do that and see where that gets you. Okay? Very complex. I don't know the whole story, so I'm trying to like wing it here. So whatever I've said, make it fit your situation. Okay? Does that help? I'm sure it helps. Um, but yeah, think about the Powerful Manifestor um, series. Any of you that are like definitely need some more help, um, post your questions. Keep posting your questions. And uh, if you need have questions on anything, anything, you can post those in the group. I will answer everything. And I will see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Well, you know, whatever time it is for you right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, awesome. Good.